if it's Sunday, and it is, it must be quick and easy meal time. I'm going to be making a little egg bake that I make from time to time in the oven. And it's real simple. The ingredients are real simple. It's some cheese, some cottage cheese, some vegetables. I've got uh, spinach and tomato here and an egg. Before we get started, I just want to say that this uh, recipe tonight, this Quick and Easy Meals, is part of a collaboration named Quick and Easy Meals. It's hosted by Simply Grace Lifestyle, Debbie Bubbles, Deborah Cabasa Home Living, and Jean Home Decor and more. All the details about this collaboration and the host is in the description box. I'm preheating the oven to 400, and while that's warming up, I'm going to start with my vegetables. I'm going to cut this uh, spinach up a little bit. I love vegetables in my food, especially in, in egg and cheese dishes. They are just made for each other. There we go. Here's one more piece. I'm going to set that there. And I'm going to cut a couple chunks of this wonderful tomato. I've got to move this. It keeps making noise every time it hits the um, electric kettle. I think two or three slices of this is enough. Right. We'll cut this into chunks and then we'll get started with the rest. Well, I'm going to start by putting a quarter of a cup of cottage cheese in here. And cottage cheese can be kind of liquid. So I'm going to scoop out as much of the cottage cheese I can and leave that liquid behind. By the way, cottage cheese can be frozen and will come out just fine when you defrost it. So I have a big... Um, big container of it here. I'm not going to eat it all at once, but I certainly will um, freeze it in increments that I want to eat, and then um, I'll have it for quite some time. So here's our quarter cup of cottage cheese. I'm going to put it right in the bowl like that. Now one egg. Just mix that up. Make sure it's well combined. And then half a cup of cheese. This is grated Mexican blend. Let's get that in there. And combine this. Now we're going to add the vegetables. I'm going to put in the spinach. I'm going to put in the tomatoes like that and mix it all up and combine it as as well as can be combined. We just want to make sure the egg mixture kind of covers everything. It's going to be so good. <laughs> this is very filling and it's beautiful and it's delicious. You can make it with as many eggs and as much um, cottage cheese and cheese as you want but this is the basic proportion for one one egg, half a cup of uh, cheese, quarter cup of cottage cheese and veggies, and then you can multiply that by as many eggs as you want. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the inside of this little, this is like a Corningware baking dish. So we're gonna spray it well because it will stick if it's not sprayed well. It might stick anyway, but it'll stick less. <laughs> I sprayed the inside uh, of the edge too. I've tried making this in cast iron and maybe by cast iron isn't seasoned enough, but I got a lot of sticking with that. I haven't yet tried it in silicone, but that might be the way to go also. So I'm gonna put this in the greased baking dish and then I'm gonna put it straight into the uh, 400 degree preheated oven. And here it is. It's right out of the oven. It was in the oven about 25 to 30 minutes. Times may vary depending on uh, the size of your pan. If you're using little egg bite sizes or large casserole sizes, it's going to be up to, up to what you're doing there. I take it out when it's nicely browned around the edges and it's browned on top. It's firm to the touch and when the knife comes out clean. This casserole dish is really hot. And I like the um, 
my egg dish to settle a little bit, so I'm going to let it sit here about 10 minutes. All right, I gave it a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, to simply settle and cool down, so now I'm going to serve myself up some of it. I have to grab a spoon and just pull it out. And actually, it came out very nicely. I put in enough um, Pam so there wasn't any residue, which was nice. So here it is absolutely delicious. I'm going to dig in. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this and thank you so much for watching.